we are now in the month of Halloween, which is probably one of my favorite holidays. Not a big fan of the weather change, but I am a fan of Halloween. So I am sporting my Wes Craven horror block shirt. Got my couple Halloween CDs that I have for the car that the kids love. And I am headed out to Best Buy to do a little um, horror movie, Blu-ray, little hunt. I'm um, looking for a couple, uh, you know, scary Halloween movies. Um, if I can find some good horror movies, I'll pick them up for Kathy and I. But I'm also looking for some scary, but you know, a little kid-friendly movies that I could watch with uh, Lauren and Ash also. So we'll see what we can find, take you guys with me. And this is something different. I've never done a DVD hunt or haul or anything like that. So see how it goes. See if you guys like it. Maybe I'll do more. If not, maybe this will be the only one. A couple that I'm really looking for to find to watch with Lauren that aren't necessarily, I guess they're not really like hardcore ho horror, but I would love to find Monster Squad, because I just loved that movie as a kid. So I'd love to see if I can find Monster Squad on Blu-ray, and I really want to try to find Little Shop of Horrors, the Rick Moranis one. Uh, I would love to find that on Blu-ray also. So I think those are movies I can watch with Lauren that are scary enough where like they won't freak her out, she really wants to watch The Shining and Jaws and Scream, absolutely not. I told her, absolutely not with Scream, not yet. The Shining and Jaws, stuff like that, I'm still up in the air about it. I don't know what to do. Kathy doesn't want her to watch it. She wants to. My dad told me when I was about that age is when they started letting me watch, like, The Shining and all those, you know, uh, Nightmare on Elm Streets and all those things. So, you know, I'm not going to let her watch Nightmare on Elm Street yet. I don't think she's ready for that. But The Shining, Jaws, I don't know. I'm still up in the air about it. I don't know what to do. Um, you know, last year, last summer, she tried to watch Stephen King's It, and, uh, she made it halfway through, and then she, she called it. It was the scene where Pennywise comes out of the, um, the shower. I don't know. She, I mean, she's a year older. Maybe she could handle it a little bit more. So, we'll see. But I'm gonna try to find some horror movies, but also some, quote-unquote, not-so-horror movies. You know, I don't really consider Little Shop of Horrors or Monster Squad really horror movies. They're just kind of, like scary movies like even killer clowns from out of space i would love to find on blu-ray this is when you know shit's about to go down all right so we're gonna look at for some dvds like i said preferably blu-ray as that's what i like to buy now so let's see see what we find take a look Damn. All right, let's go find horror. Halloween classics. Oh. Oh, look what I found. Kill Clowns from Outer Space. And it's Blu-ray. Oh, man, I want to see how much this is. I'm going to hold on to this one. This is awesome. I just picked up one and two though, so. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we could find. We got horror, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Now I've been out of the horror game for a while. Well, look at that, a Halloween complete set, 80 bucks though, jeez. Complete set though. Holy mackerel, I don't even know they made so many Halloweens. <laughs> Horror classics. The mummy. Oh, this is some old school stuff right here. That's pretty cool. What else we got here? Krampus. I want to try to find some of the movies that have like two or three in there. I always feel like that's a good bargain, a good value. Paranormal activity. Okay. Krampus, was that any good? I want to see that. Oh, 25 bucks for the whole leprechaun. It's got the first one. 
the second and third. And then it's got Leprechaun in space. Where's Leprechaun? There it is, Leprechaun in the hood. That's interesting, for 25 bucks. For the Leprechaun series. What else they got? That's what comes with the... First time, all seven films are available on Blu-ray. I'm gonna hold on to this. I might pick that up. Let's see what else we got. It's all anime. How do they have Disney right across from horror? Family, Disney, family, horror. <laughs> Seems like an odd place to have stuff where kids are gonna be down. Oh well. Screw them. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, you know what? Maybe movie collections. That might be. Let's see. We got down here. Oh, these are 3D. I don't have a 3D TV. Let's see what collections they got. Anything scary? Horror really? Oh, they got Alien. Alien. Is that fifteen dollars? What? Fifteen bucks for Alien, Aliens, Alien Three, and Alien Resurrection. Oh my God! What's this one here? What's the ultimate? What is this? It, it's the same thing. Why is this one? I guess just because of the case. I don't really give a shit about the case. I care about the movies. That's $15 on sale, limited time only. Alien quadril Quadrilogy? I don't know. Oh, I'm, I might pick that up too. I don't have that on DVD yet. Oh, Chucky! Oh, this is 35. 35 for all six movies. I've seen all of them except for, I don't think I've ever seen the last two, Seed of Chucky and Curse of Chucky. Oh man, I'm gonna put that there. I don't know if I'm getting all these, but this is what I'm talking about. They got Saw. They got Saw too. Oh man, Saw the whole set. What else we got over here? That's what I'm talking about. These are the sets I like. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. I got some good ones here. I mean, 35 bucks for the Chucky Blu-ray. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This one, I think this is a given. I think I have to do Aliens. For 15 bucks you get four movies. That's an awesome deal. So I think I'm definitely getting that. I definitely wanna see how much Killer Clowns are because that's such an awesome cult favorite movie. I love that movie. And I think, I think Mark will watch that. I don't see why not. It's torn between Leprechaun and Chucky. I mean, Leprechaun's kinda corny, but so is Chucky. It's a talking doll or a freaking leprechaun that kills for his gold. Oh man, okay, so I'm definitely doing Killer Clowns. Well, I want to see how much Killer Clowns is first. I'll hold on to the other two. Let's see what else I find. I wonder if they have any of the single movies I wanted to find. So they didn't have Little Shop of Horrors or Monster Squad on Blu-ray anywhere in any Best Buy. So I don't know if I can find that. I know they have them, but I think I'm ending up with, I think I'm definitely getting the aliens. Definitely getting the alien. Quad, quadrilogy, whatever, of the four, that's 15 bucks. I think I'm gonna do Killer Clowns. I found Jaws on Blu-ray, I'm gonna pick that up because that can't have a horror collection on Jaws, I'm sorry. Picking this up for the kids, little Harry and the Hendersons. I wanna see how much it is though, it's got like some weird sticker on it. And then I think I'm gonna pre-order my WWE 2K17. Pre-order now, get to play as Goldberg. So, I'm gonna hit these up. All right, so I just left Best Buy and I picked up I got the Alien set of Blu-ray for 15 bucks. That's awesome. For four movies. And then I picked up the Killer Clowns from Out of Space because that Blu-ray DVD was like seven bucks. I picked up Harry and the Hendersons on DVD because I used to love that movie as a kid. And I know Lauren will get a kick out of it and actually might like it too. And then I picked up also, um, what was the other DVD I got? Uh, oh, and I got Jaws on Blu-ray, because I don't have that on Blu-ray, and Jaws, I don't care what anybody says, that is one of the best horror movies to me, because horror movies that really scare the shit out of me are the ones that can be portrayed as real life, something that could really happen, and Jaws can really happen. Um, I didn't end up getting Leprechaun set or the Chucky set, uh, Charles Play set, because one, I just, 
I didn't want to spend all that money. And then I ended up ordering the, I pre-ordered the WWE 2K17. Uh, now I got the playable character of Goldberg. But I ended up pre-ordering that, and that's a decent amount of money for a brand new game for Xbox One. So I did that instead, and I, I put the movies back. And, uh, you know, I still want to look for, they didn't have Little Shrub of Horrors or Monster Squad on DVD. I'm pretty sure I know they're out there, because I'm pretty sure I've seen them online. So I'm gonna try to check some other stores, see if I can find them. The guy checked all of the local uh, Best Buys near me here on Long Island, um, and even Queens. He didn't see any of them there. So I'm gonna check, I'll check some other stores like Target and uh, whatever else might sell DVDs. Maybe, I guess Walmart sells DVDs, right? I can check. So uh, I really wanna try to find those. I'd love to watch those with Lauren and the kids. And that idiot has to stop for the stop sign. So let me, uh, yeah, so that's what I got so far. My little hunt uh, and I'm gonna head over to Toys R Us and a couple other stores. So this is different, they have a different setup in my Toys R Us different than usual um, they have a bunch here Let's see this one I don't have yet the firestorm from DC's legends of tomorrow that one I don't have this one the box is not in great shape you know a little bent there a little bent there but you know sometimes you just got to deal with it because you don't know if you're gonna find it again so I'll see if I can find any other ones in here of them I have. What do I got down here? Oh, I hate when there's like no order when they're just like thrown all over the place. It's so irritating. Because it just takes extra work to find them. How do they have an Entertainment Earth item here? They took back someone's Entertainment Earth item. Makes sense. Alright, well, I have this one so far. Let's see if they have anything else cool. Got some horror stuff here. Tons of Star Wars stuff. Oh, we got some Marvel select figures. Alright, so we got some WWE stuff going on here. A lot of WWE stuff, but nothing that I want. A bunch of WWE figures, but nothing that I really need or want. Not need, basically want. I don't need any of this crap. I want it. I don't understand these. Look, they're already buy one, get one. They just came out. I don't know who cares about zombie WWE figures. Stupid. I already have the boss man. I already got him. I don't know if I want Lita. Alright. This might be it. Let's keep looking. See if I find anything else. Oh, those are awesome. Look at these. Look at these. That is awesome. For Lionel with Snarf. Oh, 40 bucks. Oh, man. These are cool looking, expensive though. And here we go. Tigra. Oh man. That's awesome. What else do they have? I don't know if they have the other ones. Shatara, Mumra. Those are pretty cool though. I was a big Thundercats fan. I think I'm gonna hold off on this one. Wait till you find a better box. Right, let's see what else we can find through the store. These are the ones I remember. Buy one, get one half off. Oh man. These are the ones I remember as a kid. These were awesome. Do they have, if they have a Leonardo, you know I'm, I'm grabbing that. Krang, Raphael, I don't care about these. 
No, just Raphael and Krang. That is awesome, though. I used to have every Ninja Turtle toy. And then all the moves I made, they must have got lost, or... Oh, man, I wonder, should I get these? Get him and Raph. That's pretty cool. That's an awesome Raphael. Old school. Oh, man. I think I'm going to nab these two. They're sale. Buy one, get one half off. So, that's not so bad. They're a lot better looking. Look at these toys. Much better than those. I don't care what anybody says. Any other ones? That's it. That's awesome. So, I'll get Krang. Old school Krang. And Raphael. Oh, this reminds me of my childhood. That's awesome. Okay. Let me nab these two up. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, so this is awesome. I just left Toys R Us and I picked up, as I showed you, the repackaged of the original 1988 Ninja Turtles. Now, I had seen these before for a while and I just never really picked them up, but they had a buy one, get one. So I got both of these for about like, I think it was like 16 bucks, so like eight bucks a piece. And I got Krang, old school. Again, it is the classic collection. If you can see it there, originally released in 1988. This is awesome. Um, and what I like about these, because they're re-releases, I don't have to worry about keeping them in the package. These aren't gonna be worth anything, because they're re-releases. I mean, if you have the original ones from 1988 in the package, which, come on, if you're a kid of the 80s, who has these still in the packages? If you do, you were just lucky enough because your parents could afford to get you two and you had one to open. I didn't. I got them. I remember getting them from Christmas one year. My brother and I got like tons of them. And I remember getting all of them. I had them all. Baxter Stockman, Rat King, uh, Leatherface. I remember all the old school ones. I remember I still have my Razar and Toka. Those I still have. And I might have a couple of these. I don't even know. I might have a Donatello somewhere. I have to check because it's all in the kids room and they destroy it. But I got Raphael. I really was hoping for Leonardo because he was my boy. But these are the original 1988 figures. They just reissued them. So this is awesome because I can open them if I want and it won't devalue them because they're re-released. So they're not going to be worth anything anyway, uh, except for, you know, the eight bucks I paid for them. And, but I might even keep them in this because this is the original packaging. And I just remember, I just love the way these look. I just remember these in the stores when I was a kid and I used to just get so giddy seeing them. I was a huge Ninja Turtle fan. This is awesome. I just love that. I had the old school used to tell you how they became the Turtles. Always had them there. And then when you got to like the newer ones, they had all the new ones. April O'Neil and Casey Jones. And seriously though, if you are a kid and you're watching this and you have tons of toys, like newer toys from your today, save your stuff, man. Save your stuff to anybody that's watching this. Because when I was a kid, I had every He-Man toy, the castles, the... Uh, great, you know, all those. I had He-Man, Thundercats, the real Ghostbusters. I had uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I had everything. Uh, X-Men toys back in the day. Uh, some Spider-Man ones, which I still do have. I got to find them. They're, again, they're with the kids. I had all my old WB WBF toys, which I did keep. Those are the ones I did keep. But, you know, from moving and stuff as a kid, I lost a lot of stuff through moves. Uh, stuff got thrown out. Stuff got broke. And I wish I took care of them all because nowadays I, I would love to have that to one share with my kids, but also to share to you guys and just share, you know, share with me because I, I see this stuff and I get reminiscent about the times when I was younger and, you know, you, you start to think about the old days, you know, back when there were no bills to pay, no mortgage to worry about, no taxes to pay, no, you didn't care about politics, you didn't care who was running for president, you were a kid, you just cared about what toy you were going to get or, or waking up that day and, you know, what mission were the turtles going to go on with the Thundercats, with He-Man, you know, it was just... Oh, I wish I held on to all my toys. That's why when I see a lot of these old school ones now, I might start picking them up as I'm, I'm gradually just, I still am into pops. I'm just gradually stepping back a little bit um, because I overdid it with the Funko Pops. I still like them and I still will buy them. And I'll still go on Funko hunts and stuff because I still enjoy them. But I'm going to start venturing into other stuff and seeing these Ninja Turtle toys really brought me back. I'm going to go check out Five Below, see if there's anything in there.
Pretty sure I got this in a nerd block, a classic nerd block months ago. I'm pretty sure. That's now it's a five below for five bucks. That's what I'm talking about with the nerd block boxes. They're bullshit. You can find those stuff for sale somewhere like in uh, Barnes and Noble. I found stuff. Now I'm finding stuff in five below. Garbage. Garbage. Garbage stuff in those nerd blocks. Don't even bother. Save your money. Go somewhere else. Nerd blocker jokes. No Islanders though. That just looks wrong. Ah, oh, oh, two of my favorite right there. The stones and the doors. Full Guns and Roses too. Oh, I have so many glasses though. I don't need more. Plus they got the doors, the stones, Guns and Roses. Some mug, I have too many mugs too. Oh, that's awesome though. Two of the best right there. The Rolling Stones and the Doors. Actually, probably my favorite British band from the UK. And probably my favorite American band, The Doors, with Aerosmith right behind them. ACDC is pretty damn awesome too. Oh, more would have a ball. Alright. Nothing here. Nothing here. Alright, so we're in Target. And there's Ash. Say hi. Chocolate all over your face. Ah, come with me, Ashley. Come in my Come in my Come with me, Ashley. Come with me. Let's go scare your sister. Okay. She's on. Go that way. She's not paying attention. Ready, ready. Go. Go. Get her. Where are you going? No way. <laughs> Didn't work. That was my uh, hunt for some Blu-rays for Halloween, along with a couple stops I made at Toys R Us, Target, Five Below, a couple other stores. Um, so what I wanted to show you here was my collection of horror DVDs and a couple that aren't horror that I've picked up in the Blu-ray uh, category in the last couple of weeks. Now, again, I like to collect Blu-rays. I have a little collection that I started uh, about two years ago. I've never shown it on the channel. Uh, this is the first time I really delved into the Blu-ray uh, world. So if this is something that you guys like, like the video, let me know in the comment section, subscribe if you haven't, if you want to see more, let me know if you like it, if you want to see more of that, if you want to see my collection of Blu-rays now that I already have, just let me know um, if this is something that you want to continue to see on the channel. But let's get into it. So first, as I said, on that hunt that you saw at Best Buy, I had picked up four movies. Uh, one I had picked up that was not in the horror genre, but I picked up because I liked it as a kid, I know the kids would like it, and it was like six or seven bucks was on Blu-ray with Harry and the Hendersons. Now the three I picked up in the horror genre, uh, one I picked up, and I've already watched this with Lauren, and she absolutely loved it, was Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Loved this movie. I remember watching it as a kid and just thought how ridiculous it was, and it's even more ridiculous when you watch it as an adult. But Lauren loved it, she thought it was great, she thought it was hilarious. Um, and that was that's what I like about this. I get to watch these movies again with Lauren. Then I'm going to get to do it again in a couple years with Ash, which is awesome. And the other two I picked up. This one I got. This was 15 bucks. It has uh, four of the movies: Alien, Aliens, Alien Three, and Alien Resurrection. It is the Alien quadrilogy, whatever. I don't know how to say that. Then the other one I picked up on that trip was, and I don't care what anybody says, I will argue with you all day about this. I consider this one of the greatest horror movies ever: Jaws. What I love about Jaws, I love about um, the movie Frozen, not the Disney movie. You ever see the horror movie Frozen with the kids stuck up in the ski lift? Movies like that, like The Shining, like those movies, I feel like that is something that could actually happen in real life. There are sharks in the ocean that will eat you. You can possibly get stuck in a ski lift. You can be trapped in a house with your family and get cabin fever and go crazy and try to kill them. This is all legit. This stuff scares me more than something like Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th or Halloween. Sorry, it just does. And this is one of my favorite movies and I can't wait to watch this with the kids. 
I had gone online because I was having trouble finding a couple movies that I wanted, uh, especially to watch with uh, Lauren, because they're more of like a horror, uh, more of a horror kid esque genre. So I went online on Best Buy and found a lot of them that I wanted, <clears throat> got them for pretty good prices. So I'm going to go through what I picked up there. So first, The Monster Squad, which I cannot wait. I cannot wait to watch this with Lauren. I think we're going to be watching this soon. Um, this, I remember watching this as a kid. I used to have it on VHS. Love this movie. Wolfman's got Nards. Uh, just, just a great movie. I remember watching this as a kid. I haven't seen it since I was probably like 11 or 12. So I can't wait to check this out again uh, with Lauren. So picked up The Monster Squad. Next up I got was on Blu-ray. I had it on regular DVD. But like I said, I'm slowly trying to transition into Blu-ray out of DVD. So I picked up Stephen King's It. Which last year, last summer, Lauren wanted to watch it. She got through a decent amount of it up until the scene where he pops through the shower with Eddie and uh, that's when she was like no I don't want to watch this anymore shut it off uh, but I picked up Stephen King's It hopefully one day she'll be able to get through it because I absolutely love the movie um, when you get older and you watch it a little bit you realize that the movie the movie itself is kind of like boring and weak I think but Tim Curry makes it as Pennywise makes the whole movie great and a lot of the other actors are great too you got John Ritter oh what's that guy's name from Night Court. It was the judge. Harry Anderson. That's right. Harry Anderson. Tim Curry at his best. This was one of the ones I really wanted to find with Lauren and watch it with her and we did and she absolutely loved it. And it also has the original ending that it was intended to have before uh, test audiences balked at the ending. They hated it. Hated it. I was watching the, the director's commentary and he said that every single, there wasn't one person that they tested the original ending of this movie with. Not one person liked the ending that they originally um, had for this movie. So they had to go back, they had to go back and reshoot it, and reshoot the ending. Um, and the guy that did all the editing for the, the original ending spent a year on the work, on the, on, the, on the editing back then. And I felt bad for that guy, because doing editing, the little editing I do for my channel, and the short films I've done and stuff like that, I know how much work goes into that little bit of an end, editing. I couldn't imagine what this guy must have done for a year, and then it got scrapped. But we watched uh, with the ending that I knew of, and most of the world probably knows of, and then there was the, the intended ending, which we watched. And the intended ending was kind of funny, but I liked the ending that they gave it. I just, you know, I grew up with that, so that's the ending. But it is Little Shop of Horrors. Love this movie. Lauren loved it. She thought it was hilarious about a plant eating people. The singing, she loved the songs. Uh, she started singing Suddenly Seymour with my wife. So it was, it was really awesome watching this. Um, right away, she recognized Rick Moranis from Ghostbusters and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. But I'm proud to say that she recognized them from Ghostbusters first. Awesome movie. If you don't have this, go get the director's cut and check out that original ending. It is so different, so out there, funny, hilarious, and kind of fit that 80s cheesy like horror movie ending back then. But the, guy, the director said um, every test audience, not one person liked that ending, so they had to reshoot it. Great movie. But then when you are on Best Buy and you click that and then it tells you stuff that you might like, it popped this up. And this was like four bucks, four or five bucks. Blu-ray also. It is the original, The Little Shop of Horrors, with Jack Nicholson in it. Jack Nicholson plays the role of the uh, patient. If you remember, uh, Bill Murray plays it in the 80s version. This was the version, uh, when was this made? This was 1960. So they have the black and white version on here um, from 1960. And then they have a color version of this 1960s uh, movie. I haven't watched the original yet. I want to watch this. See how this is. I love Jack Nicholson. One of my favorite actors of all time. So I, I picked this up. It was four or five bucks. I was like, why not? I'll pick up the original. So I got that. Stupid dog. My neighbor's dog does not shut up ever. Yeah, me, son of a bitch. Oh, night. Five in the morning, six in the morning, seven in the morning. Now. Then I picked up uh, Creep Show 2. Love the Creep Show movies. Part one was probably my favorite. Creep Show 2 was good. I remember as a kid watching this, I loved the raft one uh, just because of the scene on the raft before it goes bad. And if you're a boy, you know what scene I'm talking about. I love this, you know, thanks for the ride lady and uh, the awesome George Kennedy from the Naked Gun movies in the uh, Indian short. Uh, just a great, great movie. Love the Creepshow movies and Creepshow 2 is, I feel, one of the underrated horror movies. Then I went back to Best Buy. I was doing a little hunt uh, for my buddy John over at New York Nerd doing a little other hunt for some other stuff that I needed for some other uh, things I'm doing with some other YouTubers coming up. 
but I uh, found some other movies that I added to my collection of Blu-rays and for the general Halloween horror theme. So going into the same kind of theme we were just going in, I picked up the original Creep Show on Blu-ray for six bucks. Can't beat that. So I got the original Creep Show, which is great. I love the beach with Ted Danson. Oh, uh, Leslie Nielsen, where's my cake? And the one that always got me in this one though was that last one with the old man with the with roaches because I skeeve roaches. Like that is the one insect, that's the one anything that skeeves the hell out of me is a cockroach. They just uh, nauseate me, skeeve me out when I see them. Like I can see anything else. Spiders don't bother me, uh, earwigs, centipede. That stuff doesn't bother me. Cockroaches just, oh, they skeeve the ever-living crap out of me. I just hate them. And that one clip, with that last one, was one I was never able to sit through. I remember as a kid, I could never sit through that one. Uh, but this is a great, and Stephen King was in this too, and if you remember, he turns into like the plant man. Great movie. If you have never seen Creep Show, you have to check it out. George A. Romero, Stephen King together, great work. Next up, I picked up the classic uh, John Carpenter's The Fog. And I'm going to give a shout out real quick to Jason and Tracy over at Tracy's Basement. They kind of got me back into like this uh, Blu-ray Halloween horror movie kind of like, you know, got to get them. Because they're doing their 31 Days of Horror. And I got so like, I was like, oh man, I remember I watched those. And I don't watch a lot of horror movies anymore because Kathy does not like horror movies. She will not watch horror movies. It's like pulling teeth to get her to watch horror movies. That's why I am loving the fact that Lauren is into horror movies. Because if I can get Lauren into it, that means I suck Kathy into it just by default. Because if we outrule her, she loses and we get to watch what we want to watch. So I picked up The Fog, um, another great movie. I haven't seen this again in years. Um, can't wait to check this out. Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, there's other people that I don't remember their names, but great movie. John Carpenter, always good for hits. Next, I picked up another John Carpenter movie. and This is a, a, a movie that I've watched. I've probably seen this a couple times since I've been an adult. It is Christine. I absolutely love this movie, Christine. Um, if you haven't seen this, it's a Stephen King book. John Carpenter did the movie. Uh, just, I love this movie. Um, it's uh, it's about a car, a possessed car. That's all I'll say. Just a great movie. I love this movie, Christine. Great movie. Next, I picked up, and this was like another cheap one at Best Buy, Blu-ray. I picked up The Fly, which is you know has Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis in it. Again, another one I haven't seen since I was at, like I don't know, 10, 11. But I remember The Fly being so grotesque and awesome. And again, it was like five, six bucks, something like that. Then another one I picked up before I get into the three newer movies I picked up. This one I picked up because one, I remember watching this as a kid with my dad uh, before my mom and dad got divorced back when I was a kid in the 80s. And we used to watch this on TV and I remember the opening scene. I remember the music, I remember the visual, I remember always being so scared. And I don't remember much about the show, but I remember the opening was always so scary. And it is uh, the first season of a TV show that used to be on in the 80s called Tales from the Dark Side. That stupid yappy dog again. Christ. Let me get one of those shot collars. Can't wait to go back and watch it and see what the actual show was about. I can't remember. But, you know, for the price I found it at, it was really cheap. And it's a whole first season. And, yeah, again, it's something else that's executive produced by George A. Romero. So can't go wrong. Tales from the Dark Side. And then I picked up three newer movies that were, um, you know, on sale, so I picked them up. Uh, first was on blue, I picked up Krampus. I finally went and did it. I uh, wanted to check this out when it came out in the movie theater, but never got around to it. So I want to check this out, it's PG-13. Lauren keeps asking if she could watch it. Um, I haven't seen it yet, so I might tell her yes. I don't I don't know, you guys let me know if you've seen it already. Is it too intense for an eight-year-old, eight and a half-year-old who's already watched The Shining, half of Stephen King's It, Little Shop of Horrors, and Kill It Clowns from Out of Space? Is it that? much worse so let me know I also picked up because I've heard this was a really good movie and I love John Goodman I picked up 10 Cloverfield Lane um, I can't wait to check this out I heard it was really great and I am a huge John Goodman fan since his days back before Roseanne when he was on Revenge of the Nerds loved him as the coach loved him in Roseanne I love him in every movie Big Lebowski John Goodman is just an awesome actor and I cannot wait to check this out. I want to let me know what you thought of that also. The next one I picked up, one, I love the concept. Again, it's one of those movies that could actually happen, so that scares the ever living shit out of me. Second, it's got Blake Lively. I love Blake Lively. I don't care if someone gets offended. She's hot. She's gorgeous. 
and whatever. Whoever's watching this, and if you're a girl and offended, come on. You know her husband. by hot and gorgeous to you also, Ryan Reynolds. But I picked up The Shallows. Uh, one, I love anything with sharks. I love shark movies. I want to see this. Plus, it's got Blake Lively in a bikini, the whole movie. It's like a double whammy. Why not? So I picked this up. So that was my Blu-ray haul. Let me know again, guys, if you like seeing this, I'll do more of it. I'll even share my already collection that I had before these. Um, but let me know. I need to know, you know, if you guys like it. If not, I won't do it anymore. Maybe. I might still do it. It might not matter. Honestly. But I would love to know. So let me know in the comments section. Remember to like and share this video. Hit up the red subscribe button. That will give you notifications of all of our videos. And it helps us grow and we greatly appreciate it. And also you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at EverydayGeekTV. Thanks guys. Adios.